everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage. The two-man band is back. We are back right here on Wrestling Rampage and you guys voted for it and we're doing it right now for you yes. guys. Now, before we get started with this video, this is going to be a two-part series. Yeah. So make sure you watch number part one and part two if you're going to watch the whole pay-per-view. Yeah. Uh, because WWF WrestleMania 17 is so big, we have to do it in two parts. So make sure you guys come back for that. WWF WrestleMania 17. This is the DVD review for you guys. You guys voted for it. Leading up right up to WrestleMania. WrestleMania, baby. We're, we're already in the mood for WrestleMania. Uh, so we're going to be doing the DVD review that you guys requested for. We're going to get started right here, right now. April Fool's Day, April 1st, back in 2001. Sponsored by Snickers Cruncher. Hungry, grab a Snickers. That's right, why the wait? Same, the same people that ruined the Fabulous Moolah Battle Roll. <laughs> this is uh, the theme song. A great theme song, but I'll be honest with you, I got kind of tired of it. Yeah, I got tired of hearing this song. <laughs> because you heard it on every fucking portion of the goddamn fucking DVD. But don't get me wrong, I love the song. Oh, I love the song. It's My Way by Limp Biscuit. Yeah, good song, but got tired of hearing it. Yeah, because you, you hear it on the DVD menu, you hear it in the paper review, and yep. I'm like... I'm tired of hearing this song, man. I'm tired of song. We're at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas, the Astrodome. Uh, now, uh, we have a, a unique set of commentary right yes, we here. Do. We have Paul Heyman and Jim Ross. Yes, uh, Jerry Lawler got fired. He left with his fucking slutty wife, the cat. I'm just being honest. Who's with Kazarni now? Uh, she's a slut. Well, I, I, th I think they broke up too, but anyway. Well, uh, she's a slut. So what, what can we say? Uh, uh, so, yeah. That's why Jerry Lawler ain't here. Uh, which I, I actually think Paul Heyman and Jim Ross did a great job. Yeah, Paul Heyman and Jim Ross, I thought they were a pretty good commentary team, to be honest with you. And we get the heat match, which is on the extras on there. Yes, the Sunday night heat match. Can I do it right yes. here? You got Steve Boring Paint Peeling Blackman <laughs> and Grandmaster Sexy. Grandmaster Sexy. You know, uh, Scotty Too Hotty was injured, so they put in Steve to, to sub for Grand, <laughs> for fucking Scotty here. Uh, uh, poor man. As they take on X Pac and Just Incredible with Albert X Factor. X Factor. And no, they don't come out with the. Uh... No, they don't come out to fucking Uncle Cracker. <laughs> yeah, you know, Uncle what Cracker. What you're looking at. Yeah, what you're looking at. No, they come no. out with some they, generic They come out with some theme. fucking generic thing. Yeah. I heard X Factor in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. X Factor, they hear. I was like, what the fuck's so, this? Um, uh, 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 well, you guys know, uh, uh, as uh, uh, Grandmaster Sexy and Steve Blackman make their way to the ring, he gives them the shitty oh, yeah. yellow glasses. Oh, yeah, Steve Blackman. <laughs> With them sweet ass dance moves. <laughs> you see? Them sweet ass dance moves of Steve Blackman, baby. They're rolling. I love Steve Blackman's dance moves. And <laughs> there he is, point. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Grandmaster. Point. Do the rest. Yeah, do the rest. Try, try to get this shit over. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the match with X Factor against X Factor. Um, the match was the shit. Yeah, the, the match wasn't that great, I'll be honest with you. But uh, then again, you know. The night is young. Yeah. Uh, Albert ends up pulling Grandmaster Sexy outside. And uh, uh, X-Pac and... Just Incredible. Incredible do a double super kick on Steve Blackman. One, two, three. Steve, Steve Blackman did the job here. He did the job. And uh, X-Pac and Just Incredible of X-Factor get the Duke here at WrestleMania 17 in a blase fucking heat match. In a blase heat match. But then we get started with the first match on WWF. WrestleMania 17, we get uh, for the WWF Intercontinental Championship, we have Chris Jericho puts his championship on the line against WWF Commissioner William Regal. Yes, uh, this was a pretty good opening match here for the Intercontinental title, Chris Jericho versus William Regal. You know, mm -hmm. it was a really uh, good match. Uh, but uh, I enjoyed the uh, build up to it, you know. Chris Jericho peed in uh, William Regal's tea, and and then uh, and then he dressed up as Doink, and was beating up. And then, and then he got, and then fucking William Regal put him in these fucking matches. You know, he took on Right to Boring Censor, and then uh, he took on the Dudley Boys in a fucking ta handicap table match mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But uh, I enjoyed this match between Chris Jericho and William Regal. Uh, uh, yeah, it was it was a pretty good match to start off WWF WrestleMania 17. 
I thought it was a really good match. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed it personally. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what happens is uh, Jericho gets it with the Lion Salt. Yeah, Lion Salt on William Regal. One, two, three. Chris Jericho retains the uh, Intercontinental Championship over the WWF Commissioner William Regal. Uh, in, in a really good match. Then, then we, then, then we go back down. Yeah, then right we here. go back down a peg. There we go. Uh, can I go ahead and uh, do this one? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, we got the right to censor with White Sox Stephen Richards as their as the manager. As, as the manager, you got the Good Father Bull Buchanan and Val Venus in their fucking white white fucking striped shirt with sweat streaks and uh, <laughs> and black tie and the black and the black uh, pants. black pants there. And take on Taz and the APA. Yeah. Why the fuck is this on the card for WrestleMania 17? No one gave a fuck about this match. I'm being honest. Yes. Uh, this match sucks. Okay? It was chaos. <laughs> the match sucked. Uh, the fucking good father runs in, trying to do the good train, <laughs> and gets rammed in the turnbuckle. Fucking Bradshaw clotheslines from hells. And one, two, three. Gives him a pat on go good father's belly, and let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, enough said on this fucking match. He does the clothesline from hell. One, two, three. You see Bradshaw. And then he gets up. Yep. And they had Jacqueline. I forgot they had Jacqueline all because they're in Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but fuck this match. Yeah, uh, this match wasn't that great. And uh, I, I I love what Jim Ross called called Steven Richard. Oh, oh, oh there's there's a white socks yeah. there. Because <laughs> he's wearing all black and shit. He has the white socks. Yeah, I, I I just didn't really give a fuck about this. Yeah, match. so uh, Taz and the APA with Jacqueline is the uh, victors in this, which uh, it was a, yeah, it was a blase match. Yeah, fuck this match. Um, then we have for the WWF Hardcore Championship, we have pretty much a triple threat match. Yes, for the WWF Hardcore Championship, when you got the w the reigning WWF Hardcore Champion, Raven. He comes out with the shopping cart yeah, with Frankenstein. Yeah, and there's Frankenstein in there, and there's some fucking uh, crossing guard dummy in there. And, yeah. You know, Raven comes out to that fucking sweet-ass roses cart. And, and then, uh... And then here comes Kane, Kane, and then they get in a big smiles in the ring. Before big Big, show, show, big show don't even come out yet. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> you hear the ring bell. Yeah, the bell rings, then here comes the big show while they're fucking going at each other. Yes, uh, and uh, I I like this match. Yeah, this I, was a good hardcore match. Uh, uh, the, Matt, the, a lot of the WWF hardcore matches back in the day were kind of... Mm. Yeah, sometimes they were lackluster to me. Too many title changes. Yeah, yeah, too many title mm. changes. But uh, what what made me laugh was the the match started without yeah. Big Show, uh, and then they fight all over the arena. Yeah, they do. They fight all over the arena. Oh, oh, oh what what was Taz calls it the yeah. arena? The arena. Uh, and then um, <laughs> he grabs uh, what was it like a like a television cord I think or I guess uh, so or a hose or something. Yeah. He grabs something. And uh, fucking and fucking King throws Raven into the goddamn fucking glass and. He goes right through the he fucking right glass. He goes right through the glass. Uh, you, know, you want to tell you what my favorite was? What's that? All right, they, they, I remember Big Show trying to lock Raven in this goddamn fucking fence. Yes. And here comes Kane's like, I ain't letting that happen, bitch. Fucking, <laughs> make sure they're fucking... And then the very good fucking lump runs. And fucking Big Show was going to choke... Choke slip right here on the floor! <laughs> and Kane grabs her by the throat. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> uh, oh, uh, one of my favorites also during that match was was when uh, Big Show had uh, my favorite is when they're going on the fucking golf cart. Uh, I I I like the one where, where they were doing the door. Yeah, that too. Was it uh was it was it Kane on the door? I yeah, think, I think it was Kane yeah. on the door, and Big Show ran. At, yeah. at Kane. The first time they didn't break the yeah, fucking thing down. Yeah, the second down. time they did. Yeah, the second time they did it. Then they fall through the wall. And there was someone's salad there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so they, yeah. There was somebody's salad. Then they go to the golf cart. Yeah. And then um, Big Show lifted up fucking Raven. There was oh, he, 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 uh, 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 I think it was, was it Kane or Big Show? One of the two ran over Raven yeah. with the golf cart. Yeah, hurt his knee. <laughs> yeah, hurt his fucking knee. And he goes, fucking, ah, yeah. ah! And then Big Show was pressing up fucking Raven. And fucking Kane comes out with a big boot on the Big Show. They fall through the goddamn WrestleMania set. Yeah, the WrestleMania set on the and side And fucking there. Kane does a fucking elbow drop. It wasn't no fucking leg drop. It was an elbow drop. Yeah, uh, uh, Heyman and, and Ross says it was a leg drop. It, it wasn't was, no it was leg an drop. drop. It was an elbow. And elbows Big Show. One, two, three. He And Kane's the uh, new hardcore champion. Kane is the brand new WWF hardcore champion. 
Then we get into a WWF European Championship match between the champion Test. Yes. He's the taking, reigning and defending European champion he, Test. He's going to be taking on Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat. Latino Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat. Eddie with Perry Saturn with that frenzy goddamn <laughs> cap on. Coming out in the Lugs the, t-shirt. Yeah, Lugs and, t-shirt. And, and the fucking, uh, the fucking furry fucking hat. Yeah, furry uh, fucking hat. hat here. Um... Uh, I thought this was... Uh, this was a pretty decent match. It, it wasn't good. It yeah, was decent. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't that great. It didn't set the world on fire, to be but honest But it was with decent. It. But it was a decent it little match. It was watchable. Match. Yes, it was. Uh, test, uh, you know, uh, D. Malenko comes out Yeah, there D. Malenko and... comes out. He's wearing this Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Here he comes in his blue jeans. And his cowboy boots. Oh, his cowboy boots. D. Malenko wearing them sweet-ass poopy brown cowboy boots. And fucking... Uh, and fucking Dean gets involved. Fucking Tess goes after Dean. Fucking Perry Saturn whips the European title into Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero hits Tess with the European Championship. One, two, three. Eddie Guerrero is the new European champion. New European champion just like that. And as you see, the Radicals, yes. per, the former Radicals, yeah. walk away with the European Championship. Then we get uh, honest, a great match right yes. here. We get Kurt Angle versus Chris Benoit. Yes, this was a great fucking technical wrestling match. These Kurt Angle and Chris Benoit to me always put on great matches. They'll it don't matter match. what fucking year it was. Uh, 2001, yeah, 2003, it doesn't matter what year it was. And uh, and Chris Benoit and Kurt Angle put on a great fucking match here. Out wrestling each other. Fucking, fucking uh, Kurt Angle fucking... Uh, Tries to fucking he gets fucking Benoit in the cross face and and fucking angle uh, Chris Benoit gets Kurt Angle in the ankle lock and yeah, this was a great fucking match. Well, ref gets knocked down, Angle ends up tapping out, but the ref ain't there. Uh, you get the angle slam. Uh, you get the uh, the the moon salt. Yep. Uh, Kurt does the moon salt, and uh, Benoit puts the knees up. Yep. And then uh, you know it, it was just a counter for counter fucking hold. And uh, the one thing that I did enjoy was, uh, you know, uh, well, it, it was kind of weird. Like, yeah. like the finish was weird. Yeah, the finish was a little weird. You know, uh, you know, he 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 outmaneuvers uh, Benoit and gets him, and in, gets like him a, in a roll up and yeah. pulls the tights one two three and Kurt Angle beats Chris Benoit. And the one thing that made me laugh during this is uh, right after that, uh, uh, Angle's getting interviewed. Yeah, Kurt Angle's getting interviewed by Kevin Kelly. Well, shitty ass Kevin yeah. Kelly. And uh, fucking Benoit comes out, fucking gets him in the cross face, and Kurt Angle's tapping on the fucking uh, concrete. Yeah, the concrete, making him tap out, uh, which was pretty cool. But Angle picks up the Duke on here. Uh, over Benoit, but <clears throat> Benoit won the war at the end. Yes. Um, and then we get, oh, and uh, this one, not that great of a match, to be honest with you. But for the WWF Women's Championship, we have the champion Ivory putting her Women's Championship on the line against China. Now, the rules no, in, this, yeah. in, in, in this match is... Uh, RTC right to censor is barred from ringside. Yeah, they're barred from this, ringside for during this, this match. encounter, during this match. Yeah, uh, and I and I gotta give credit where credit is due. Ivory did most of the build up to this match. Yeah. She done most of the match. She she done most of the build up. Done most of the match. You know, did the pile driver? Did too. the pile driver? Did the fucking promo beating up her China on a cardboard? Yeah, uh, you know, she basically did all this goddamn shit. In China, all, all I seen her do was do a fucking come in for a bra and panties, whip China, uh, whip uh, China fucking wrist fucking Ivory's fucking uh, fucking suit out. Yeah. That's all I remember. That's all I seen fucking China there. Yeah, that that that's all China did during this thing was uh, yeah. Fucking uh, Ivory fucking did most of the work in this feud. I Ivory, I broke your neck. She beats up the cardboard. Yeah. Fucking pile drives China on on the neck. Beats her cardboard cutout. Does the same thing. Yeah. Uh, and you'll tell you what my favorite was, was when fucking Ivory fucking did the uh, reenactment of China fucking crying and sniveling, sniveling to Jim Ross yeah. under that interview. Yeah. And Ivory was dressed as China and fucking had the fucking flea collar on and uh, and uh, fucking Val Venus was Jim Ross. <laughs> Yeah, remember that? <laughs> yes, I do. Remember yeah, that. I loved it. Um, and, and and you know, fucking here comes Ivory out. 
And then here comes fucking China with the big fucking yeah, bazooka. Yeah, here comes China in. You know, Ivory gets the normal entrance. You know, the, the wink, 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 right censorship. <laughs> I hate that thing. And uh, here comes China with the big fucking bazooka. Yeah. Oh, oh, I want to know. I want to know who the fuck's going uh, yeah, Who do you think's going fucking going over the bitch with the big fucking bazooka? <laughs> But China comes Ivory in. Ivory made China look like a million dollars in this match. Mm -hmm. You could tell Ivory was the fucking leader in this match. Mm -hmm. She listened to Ivory, okay? Because to be honest, China can never have a good match by herself. She always got to have somebody to work with to have a good match. She gets her in the power bomb. Uh, it was a real short match, yeah. too. Uh, you know, a couple of punches and kicks and then a fucking power uh, fucking bomb. Ivory really didn't do shit. No, she really didn't do nothing in this Fuck, match. Fuck, all she did was bump for her. Uh, she she gets her she gets her in the fucking power bomb, goes for the cover, pulls, pulls her, her up, up, and then does a fucking gorilla's press, and, and then, then doesn't leave shot. there like she's goddamn fucking fucking like she's Miss fucking McMahon over here. <laughs> One two three, <laughs> and China is the new WWF Women's Champion. Yeah, uh, I went too thrilled. Uh, fucking gorilla pro. Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to go over with the big fucking bazooka. Yeah. Anyway, we get into the last part of part one. Of part one is the street fight. The between, street fight. Between, Shane McMahon versus Vince McMahon. You know what? This, huh? the, uh, the, the, this came about where where Shane uh, signed the contract to, to buy own, WCW. Yeah, w you know, and uh, that's how this all came about. My favorite was this. You know, I'll never forgive your mother for giving birth to you. <laughs> you know, you can say what you say, you can say what you want about Vince, but Vince gets into it. Yeah, Vince gets into it. You know, and and here comes Shane out. You know, comes out to the same music as Vince. No money, money, money here. Nice. You know, Shane comes out. You know, he's wearing the fucking WrestleMania 17 jersey. That's right. And uh, he goes, let me give up to my boys at WCW. I was like, oh, the ones that don't have a Time Warner deal. Yeah, the shitty ones. The like, shitty ones. Hugh like Morris. Sean, uh... like Sean Stasiak, which ruined their WrestleMania push because he blabbed it out. Yeah. Yeah, they were supposed to be in that match. They yeah. were supposed to help Shane, but goddamn fucking Mr. fucking Chiropractor over here fucking had to ruin it. Sean Stasiak, Hugh Morris. Fucking running that goddamn boot lip off. Uh, you know, uh, you got you got uh, Shaw Stasiak up there. You have uh, running them Morris. fucking jaws and fucked up uh, his goddamn WrestleMania payday. Chavo Guerrero. No, uh, really, Shaw Stasiak fucked up their WrestleMania payday. I'd be pissed. Well, you can say what you want, but hey, that's the way it goes. Fuck you, Shaw Stasiak. That's what I gotta say to you. No but, one, no one, no wonder you didn't uh, fucking do no good in per, WCW or WWE. Uh, pretty much the Dollar General wrestler. So yeah, basically, <laughs> you know, from, from basically, WCW. you know the ones General Erection. You know, Mike Sanders, Stacey Keebler. You know, the ones that didn't have Time Warner deals. And there were like, what, like eight of them up there? Yeah, there were <laughs> about eight of them up there. No big star. Yeah, no big star. You didn't see you no... Know, big props to my, to my boys, WCW, yeah, all, all the weekends. And I didn't see no Booker T. I didn't see no DDP. I didn't see no Goldberg. <laughs> no, I didn't no. see no Nash, Hogan, Paul. But uh, Vince, Vince comes out with Stephanie with the walk. Yeah. With uh, daddy's girl on the back of her goddamn jacket there. <laughs> Nobody cared about Nobody cared about that. Here comes Vince in the goddamn fucking black gloves. Fucking orange fucking shirt. Red, red. Thread and fucking the black fucking shirt. Here he comes walking down with those black jeans. <laughs> the black jeans he always wore. the wore. fucking tennis shoes. Here he comes. Here comes Vince. And, and Mick fucking, Foley. You, and Mick Foley well, is a special, special guest, guest referee, referee here. And Vince comes out of nowhere and just gives fucking Shane a big old shot right to the eye. Right to the eye. You know. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, the match is the match what it was, what it was, was what it was. Okay? You know, come on, you know, you know, the McMahons can't do a great fucking Shane, match. I was impressed with Shane, though. But well, Vince, Shane, you know, all Vince was was fucking. Shane's always been impressive. He, he's, he, he's the most impressive one out of the yeah. McMahons anyway. But, uh, you know, you got, uh, you know, here comes Trish bringing down Linda yep. a, 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 after she had the double doses. Yep, uh, she had the double dose. <laughs> Vince made sure she got that double dose. Don't yeah. know what the dose was. But uh, 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 but didn't, what, say. What didn't say. Didn't uh, say. And uh, so she, you know, she pushes uh, Linda to the ring. Vince and Shane's on the outside. Fucking Trish, Trish slaps. fucking slaps Vince. And then Stephanie and fucking Trish get in a big argument. And fucking get, a, get, get into the cat fight! Cat, cat fight. fight. Fucking Trish is... Chasing Stephanie all through the arena, uh, all the way backstage. So Fo Foley ends up beating up Vince a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Foley does the goddamn punches in the corner, then the big knee. Dushé. Yep, and uh, uh, and then you know Vince finally comes to. 
And, Shane, and you know my favorite. He he fucking she he goes over to Linda who's in her goddamn wheelchair with that stone face. <laughs> and he goes, You bitch. You bitch. <laughs> you bitch. And fucking Jill, did I hear what this motherfucker just said? <laughs> Uh, and then he fucking throws fucking Linda in the ring. You're gonna sit right here. Puts her in the goddamn court. What's Robin do to him? You like it, huh? You like it good, huh? <laughs> throws the trash cans in the ring. Throws like four the trash of them. cans. Fucking, fucking beats fucking Shane up around. Linda's watching. Then fucking Vince was about to fucking do the goddamn fucking another fucking trash can hit to fucking Shane. Then fucking Linda fucking curls up like this. Like she's going into warrior mode. And fucking <laughs> neat. Fucking kicks Vince with the goddamn grapefruit. <laughs> And then, Vince, Vince goes down like yeah, a Yeah, Vince goes down like a let noodle like this. And, <laughs> and then fucking Shane puts fucking Vince in the corner. Fucking With puts the, trash the garbage can. can right there. Goes up on the other side. Does the coast to coast. The drop kick. One, two, three. Beats Vince. Beats Vince. And, Shane McMahon uh, beats Vince. And you see the 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 the, the, and you the, see the boys WCW stars. And the WCW cl- with smattering claps here, you know, Sugar Shane Helms, you know, the guys like that. The shitty WCW stars yeah. get, get, gave a smattering yeah. of claps smattering of right there in the up. box office. Yeah, right there in the skybox. Uh, but that's the end of part one. Make sure you guys come back for part two. Part two, in baby. In the next video.